Hey everybody, I'm Mike from 6x6world.com and today our video is a little different than a normal trail ride video. Uh, recently I had a great opportunity to meet with Craig Simonton from Hydratrek and test out one of their six-wheelers, the XT66. Uh, not only did Hydratrek uh, let us test out their six-wheeler, but Craig drove nine hours one way just so everybody at 6x6world could see their six-wheeler in action. Now, due to storms throughout the day, we didn't get but about an hour before dark to test out the six-wheeler, but we're still able to uh, put it through its paces. Let's take a look. Hydratrek manufactures commercial grade hydraulically driven amphibious six and eight wheelers. Both their six and eight wheeled vehicles have aluminum bodies and can be equipped with tracks like our test unit. The six wheelers come equipped with a 44 horsepower Kubota turbo diesel and the eight wheelers have a 60 horsepower turbocharged Cummins. All of their vehicles come standard with twin bronze propellers for water propulsion good for speeds up to five knots. Craig can tell us a little about driving the six-wheeler before we head out for the water. Okay. This is uh, Craig with Hydratrek. I'm going to show you the bas basics of how to uh, operate the machine. These two levers here uh, are for your tracks and for your propellers. Both levers down is your neutral position. The machine will only start in neutral. You have a neutral light here that indicates that. When you're ready to take off, you engage your tracks, and it's much like the other 6x6s, you have forward, reverse, and then your zero turns. And then you have your RPMs here, low, medium, and high. And uh, kind of a full instrument panel with your RPMs, your hour meter. This one has a hydraulic brake on it. Fuel gauge, battery gauge, and then your oil and water temperature, uh, headlights, emergency light, uh, spotlight, bilge pump and uh, your reset switch. Uh, here in the front you got a dry box for a small amount of storage and then all of these machines right now are come standard with the 8500 pound Randy winch and uh, headlights on the front seating for six. We are testing the XT66 in some low-lying land next to a river that's often flooded. The ground under the water here is soggy, and if you try to step on it, you will typically sink up to your knees. The wide 20 inch tracks of the Hydratrek help lower the ground pressure enough that it's able to stay on top of the mud. The worst part of our test area for the day is right here under the power line, so let's watch Craig make easy work of mud that would swallow most non track vehicles.
Here Craig can demonstrate how the Hydratrex hydraulic tri-mode dry system allows you to transition seamlessly from land to water. You can run the tracks, the propellers, or both, all while maintaining forward motion anytime you want. The way the terrain is right through here, I'm running both props and tracks. Okay. Sometimes I'll float, sometimes I'm on bottom. So you can engage the props uh, while you're running, it doesn't yeah, I matter. Just killed them. Yeah. Props on, props off. Cool. That's the hydraulics for you. Yeah. So, you know, seamless like that. As the four of us head out to deeper water, the first thing you really notice is the lack of churning water around you. It's strange looking down and seeing the tracks completely stationary while you continue to move forward, especially to anyone that owns a tire-propelled amphibious vehicle. The Hydratrex speed in the water is one of its greatest assets. The propellers make short work of larger bodies of water, and they actually make longer distance water travel feasible. We were able to travel upstream to an area that we had never reached before in our own ATVs simply because of the distance and the amount of time it would have taken us to get there. Looking back behind the Hydratrek, you can see the wake from the propellers. As we begin to approach land, the tracks are engaged, and then once the propellers are out of the water, they can be turned off. While you are in the water, the stability is as close to a boat as you can get. I climbed around the outside of the Hydratrek while we were floating, and it didn't even acknowledge that I was there. As we begin our trip back to the trailer, I take one more look at the wake from the Hydratrek while Craig decides to take a shortcut back to the trail. Traveling through the taller bush gave us an opportunity to appreciate the larger size of the Hydratrek. Visibility is impressive compared to our ATVs, and any bugs or weeds never even touched us. It was nice to make it home without being covered in leaves. I have to thank Craig and the Hydratrek crew for bringing us a six-wheeler to test so that everyone at 6x6 World could see the XT66 in action. While Hydratrek is a relatively new entrant to the amphibious utility vehicle market, they have devoted years to R&D before production to ensure that they have the highest quality product possible, and it definitely shows. Combine that with enthusiastic employees that are passionate about their work, and I'm sure we'll see much more from Hydratrek in the future. If you want to learn more about Hydratrek, check them out on the web at hydratrek.com, or you can find their contact information here at 6x6world.com. Thanks for watching. See you on the trails.